Okay, okay. Noah was having a slight problem in the recovery room this morning, and I went dashing out of here. And when you did, the big splash happened. Where were you doing them this morning? Oh, boy. Hi, guys. Whoa. Oh, good morning. Nice. Boy, it's our favorite patient. You're becoming a fixture around here. Only a few more weeks, I'm told. Dr. Rick says Hutchie and me should be healed around the same time. What'd I say? Nothing. It's okay. Is Gail in? In the cafeteria. Oh, good. I'll drop in and see her after I take Mike to therapy. See you later, Mike. Bye. Bye. I know. Sure. I'd like to take him home with me. Um, good. When do we leave? I don't even want to see you again this morning. Would you take care of him, please? Are mm. you still mad about the coffee? No, I'm not mad about the coffee. Good. Uh, good morning, Bobby. Doctor? Any uh, messages for more? Harvey Northrup called and says that he's still worried about his throat. Poor Harvey. I told him you would call. Good, good. What's going on? What do you mean? It's a little chilly in here. Is this about the other night? No, of course not. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. As a matter of fact, your dinner was delicious. <laughs> I'm glad. However, the fact that you can cook a good dinner does not mean you are going to have everything your way. See you, kid. Hey, Bobby. Hello, Earth to Bobby. Hi, Zach. How you doing? Had a great time at the disco last night. Mm-hmm. I was wondering, how about a pizza feast tonight? You see, I've had this appetite all day. I had a strange dream last night. All these little pepperoni slices were chasing me down an alley. Thanks, Jack. Not tonight. I have plans. Uh-huh. Wah! The incredible pain. Ah. Oh, you want me to kiss it and make it better, poor baby. You kiss it and I'll never speak to you again. But oh. seriously, how do you feel? Well, like Leon Spinks, except I got all my front teeth. Oh, I think. Of course, sweet darling. Here, I brought you some more cold Just compresses. Yeah, I'll leave it on there for a little while. Helps with the swelling. Well, listen to you. You're beginning to sound like one of us. Wow. You gonna get a it's degree? It's an old family recipe. Well, the unusual thing is it does work. Oh. Ah, uh, breakfast a little late, uh, Oh, that's all right. I can see you've had your hands full. Oh, indeed. No, no, it's all right, Alice. No, 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 I'll get it. I wouldn't want you to have to trouble yourself. Hello. Hi, Leslie, it's Gail. Hi, what a nice surprise. What's up, Doc? Uh, well, I, I hope I didn't wake you all up. No, uh, we have been up since dawn. Oh. <laughs> Good. Well, I was just uh, here at the hospital having a little coffee, and I got to thinking, wouldn't it be nice if you and Rick and Lee and I could have lunch together? Well, I, I, I know that Lee is uh, very anxious to have us have a little get-together. Today? Well, yeah, why not? <laughs> well, gosh, that sounds great to me. Oh, good. It, it's just that Lee, well, he, he would like to see things get back to the way they were between all of us, and uh, he's really trying very hard not to blame Laura for everything. That's wonderful. Um, let me just ask Rick, and, and if there are no problems, uh, we can meet at the rib around noon. Oh, perfect. We'll uh, hope to see you then. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. What was that? Uh, if your condition will allow, we have been invited to have lunch with uh, Lee and Gail today. Lee, too? Yeah, uh-huh. The uh... uh I think he's really making oh, <laughs> some kind of gesture toward reconciliation. Look. Well, maybe he's finally realized he's been trying to blame Laura for most everything that happened. Uh-huh. That's what Gail said. Ah! Oh. <laughs>
And where in the hell have you two been? We were out on the deck. It was such a beautiful morning, we decided to enjoy it. Well, you don't mind taking chances now, do you? Chill out, Robert. It's <laughs> early. You know the people on this floating charm school don't even get up till afternoon. How do you know you weren't spotted? I'm positive we weren't. You trust me, don't worry. All right. Now, let's get down to work, right? Right, the wallet. Exactly. Well, I'll check the, the secret box, you know, in the drawer today. Maybe Victor put it in there. Maybe. But in the meantime, you've got a job, and that's to get a message out of the regular room. Great. Sounds impossible. <laughs> Lucy, just the person I wanted to see. Well, what's going on here? Oh, I'm hacking, darling, or at least I'm trying to. Why? Oh, because we're arrival day after tomorrow. Didn't you know? Oh, yes, I, I guess it slipped my mind. Oh, I don't know why I bothered bringing, unpacking all this stuff to begin with. Oh, well, here, let me help you. Oh, thank you, darling. You sure do have a lot of beautiful clothes, Miss Hill. Oh, please call me Tiffany. You must shop all over the world. Oh, do you want to know a secret? Sure. <laughs> They're in my contracts. Your clothes? Well, most of them. Any time that I do a new film, I usually have a clause included in my contract to uh, make sure that I get all of my wardrobe. <laughs> really? That's wonderful. Yes. Oh, no, 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 darling, not that one. Uh, that is going to be for the royal wedding. For what? <gasps> oh, since so many of us are not going to get to go to the wedding, Dear Victor is going to screen the entire wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Di. Oh, wow. I'd really love to see that. Oh, I think he's going to invite the crew as well. Really? Yes. Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, you know what I think? More suitcases. Yes, uh, I think there are two downstairs in that, oh, that dreadful cargo place. Do you know how to get there? Oh, yes, yes, very well. <sighs> oh, good. Then would you please just go get them? I might as well finish packing everything today. Oh, Lucy, um, you didn't by any chance clean the dress or anything, did you, yesterday? Uh, I straightened out everything on top. Oh, but you didn't go in the drawers or anything, did you? No, of course not. Oh, darling, I knew that you didn't. I think you just wanted me to ask to make sure, though. <laughs> Will that be all? The suitcases, darling. Oh, right, right, yes. on my way. Hi, Jesse. Would you do me a big favor? Anything, what? Would you uh, let me know when Leah arrives? We're meeting the Webbers over at the floating rib. Of course. Okay, great. Oh, Thank you. Gail. Hi. Hi. I was just looking for you. You were? Oh, what yeah. is it? Is it something wrong with Mike? No, no. I just left him in therapy. This is about me. Remember we set up my schedule to start my volunteer work for next week? Sure. Well, I'm here today. Can I start today? You're kidding. Today? Oh. <laughs> hey, that's wonderful. Did you hear that? That's great, Rose. Well, welcome aboard. Thank you, thank you. Well, when can I start today? Well, how about right now? I don't see why not. Just point me in the right direction. Okay, you just follow me okay. and we'll get started. Right. We'll go up one. Wow. What will we do without volunteers? Speaking of which, may I go for some coffee? Sure, go ahead. Hi, Jess. Ruby? Listen, um... Have you noticed recently how quiet Bobby's been? <laughs> yeah, especially when she's around Noah Drake. It's been that way ever since their last day. I'm just wondering what's wrong. I haven't got a clue. I can't get a word out of her. Tell me, I've tried. Maybe she's worried about Luke? They're all worried about Luke. Thanks, that's soon, love. Yeah, Tiffany's happy to get more suitcases. Did you get a chance to uh, check out the desk? No, but she'd asked me if I was in there yesterday. What's this? Careful, he's very sensitive. Uh, what? Well, yesterday? You... Obviously, they know that uh, somebody's been messing around in there. Do you think they're on to us? No way, no. No. They're so suspicious of Max, they'll just assume he's behind everything. I hope so. But that's, you know, that's really not much comfort. How so? We're vulnerable, you know? I hate being vulnerable. We're all just sitting down here waiting for them to figure it out, and then they're gonna... Come and get us, and it's all going to be over. That's always a possibility, but just uh, try to think about it. Now, which one of these cases is it? 
that you've learned. But the thing about football is different from baseball. I'm throwing a spiral. You gotta, you gotta use the fingertips. Kind of let the ball roll off your fingertips when you throw it. How come you know so much about football, Hutch? Well, I played some in high school. That's about it. Were you good? Well, that's a matter of opinion. I guess I was good enough to get a scholarship to the local JC. College? Really? Yeah. Yeah, right. But then uh, I decided I'd better go to work instead. Maybe if you played in college, you'd be a pro now. <laughs> I doubt it, Mike. I really do. Hi, Rob. You're not bothering Mr. Hutchins, are you? No, not at all. I was just giving him a few pointers on throwing the pigskin, you know? Well, um, I'll, um, I'll show you around, Rose. Okay. Well, you, you know what this is. This is the, uh, hydro massage. Right. right. And the, uh, old treadmill over here and the, uh, pull-up bars over here. The equipment for the hydro massage is all right there. Right, okay. Now, I'm not responsible for the patients, am I? Oh, no, no, no. The, the therapist will help out with the equipment, you know, the on and off switch and the temperature gauge. But you will be responsible for the patients going back and forth to their rooms. Okay, okay. So, good. All right, I'll, uh, I'll leave you here a while then. And I guess, uh, well, I guess your first patient is going to be harsh. So, when he's through, then you can accompany him back to his room, okay? Right, that doesn't sound too hard. Good. Good luck. Thank you, Dale. You gotta work here, Rose? Yes, Mike, I'm gonna do volunteer work. That's terrific, really. You getting better? Well, just about better enough to volunteer myself if they have me. You'd volunteer? Well, somebody in this world's gotta do the volunteering. And I really admire people who are able to offer a piece of themselves to other people. I'm proud of you too, Rose. Mike's been telling me what a terrific lady you are. I can see what he means. Thank you. Do you want me to help you uh, back to your well, room? Thank you. No, this lady's been waiting for me. But so thanks a lot. All right. Take it easy, Mike. Take it easy, Hutch. I'd expect it, and though I really have no use for him, it seems inhuman to send him to prison. Why did Max call this meeting? I don't know. He just wanted to see a drawing of the map. Although I'm quite interested in to see what his concerns might be. Greetings, gentlemen. Max, what's up? Relax, Conrad. It's Victor that I want to talk to. He owes us an explanation. What are you talking about? Our destination. This island that you so carefully veiled in secrecy. Yes, well, there it is. See for yourself. Oh, Victor. <laughs> Drawings tell me very little. I want specifics. Certainly. All right. Security, for example. What about it? Where? How? The entire island is umbrellaed by a sophisticated radar system that extends one mile out to the sea. What about when we land tomorrow? Well, the radar screen will be cut off for approximately four hours. That'll give us enough time to get on the island. Then what about our living quarters? I don't see a thing on this map. Well, they're also very sophisticated, Max, as you'll see. The entrance... Yeah. Yes, sir. Get out of here. Yes, sir, right away, sir. All right, you were saying. I believe I was finished. Actually, it was just a very good, solid right cross. <laughs> yeah. What was this fellow's name again? Charlie Lutz, cab driver. Well, there might be a suit in there, Rick. There he goes <laughs> again, chasing ambulances. Yeah, I got what I deserved. I was just trying to keep the guy this from tearing up his lady. This whole thing has made us crazy, and we're both doing crazy things, you know, worrying about Laura. Well, I understand that. I mean, when Scotty was first missing, I was a little nuts, too. I started striking out at everybody. How'd you learn to deal with it? Well, I never did. I mean, a kind of a numbness sets in. And, well, I don't know, you try to take it all inside and hide it, but, it, you know, nothing does any good. The pain just gets worse. But it's different now. Well, yeah, you know, time has a way of easing the pain. You begin to look at the situation more rationally, and, and you realize the futility of worrying. Well, I haven't gotten to that stage quite yet. Well, Leslie, you mean you didn't find out anything? Oh, we just keep striking out. 
We talked to Luke's friends on the waterfront. We've talked to uh, Bert Ramsey. We've talked to the quartermaster. The Lutzes. No one's talking. We even talked to the commissioner of the police, who refuses to tell us anything. Lee, it's a definite conspiracy. Mm. No question about it. Would you get any idea what Luke is involved in here at all? Um, we got a crazy story about the world's largest diamond, and that's it. <laughs> Luke is involved with Robert Scorpio, and Robert Scorpio is some kind of agent for the government. I mean, he's a spy. Oh, we're not sure about that. It's it, it, all conjecture. Get any line on those bodies that were found on the dock? I called the coroner's office this morning. And they denied picking up the bodies. Oh, it's a cover-up. I mean, the police admitted the murders took place. Or someone else could have picked up the bodies. Sure, too. disguised as being from the coroner's office. The yeah. Teddy was just all so incredible. Well, it, 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 does, it sounds like a gag order of some kind. It was issued. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but who issued that gag order? Well, uh, it's obviously nothing local. Not if this Scorpio is what you say he is. It would, it would have to be from much higher up, maybe even the federal government. Oh, good. We all know how easy it is to break through their walls. Well, not necessarily. Huh? You have something in mind? You know someone? I'm uh, meeting with him this afternoon. Oh. It's uh, Congressman Sterner. Oh. Do you really think he could help? Well, he just might know the right buttons to push, sure. Tell you what, I'll bring him over to the hospital this afternoon. You can talk to him personally. Thank you, Lee. You know how much we appreciate this. We really do. Oh, I think I do. Not knowing where your child is is an awful feeling. And we do want to help. Thank you. Thank you, both of you, so much. Well, all right. What's good in here? Uh, it'll be crab steaks in the usual uh, buffet. It sounds excellent. Yes, and it'll be in the upper cocktail deck. You coming? In a moment. to everybody. The crew will be joining us tomorrow night, okay, at the movies of the Royal Wedding, because we want the last night to be a nice celebration. And you can uh, leave now, because I need you, okay? okay I'll take over now. You come back and leave me at midnight. Closet lush. Lucas, we're getting an idea. General Hospital will continue in a moment.